Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at a few of the features of the iRay Render plugin for Character Creator 3 and how you can get amazing looking photorealistic renders like this going in no time at all. Let's start with the basics. If you can't see the iRay Render items in the toolbar, you can go up to the File menu under Plugins and select Toolbar under iRay. You'll see the iRay items appear in the toolbar. For a quick preview of your render, you can use the Preview button on the toolbar or the F11 hotkey. Your iRay preview window will pop up which you can resize and then use the zoom presets at the top to determine which sort of view you'd like. Notice that we currently have Preview Auto Update enabled, which means that every time we make a change to our render settings, the preview will start over from scratch and render right away with the new settings. Let's test that by selecting our character's core set here and adjusting the hue of the base color map. You can see that when the hue parameter is changed, the render will immediately update and begin rendering with the changes. We can do the same thing for the pants. This time we'll take down the saturation to make them grey. Again there will be an automatic update to the render. The same thing will happen every time you change the camera angle as well. To open up the iRay panel, we can click on the toolbar icon and you'll be able to see the different meshes that make up the corset as well as the boots. The iRay Super Shader allows us to enhance the materials without touching the original material settings. Let's adjust the base color map multiplier parameter for the boots and see the results in our preview window. You'll notice that it really boosts the brown color of the boots. We can throw in a coating effect on the shoes as well to give them a more glossy look and change the coating color to something a bit closer to the base color. To make them look even more slick, we can also pump up the strength and then balance it out by also increasing the roughness strength. Let's take a look at applying an MDL preset to the gloves of our character. In the Stage Elements section of the Content Manager, you'll find an iRay MDL folder that contains a number of MDL presets. There are many more of these than are shown here, but we're going to keep it simple for now. Let's click and drag this upholstery MDL onto the gloves and observe the difference in the preview window. Once we do this, you can also notice that the original MDL of the character's gloves will be replaced with the one that we just applied. Next, let's take a look at making the lighting a bit more dramatic by heading over to the lighting section. If we increase our shape radius to 12 and our intensity multiplier to 2.5, we can create a much more dramatic rim light falling on the left side of our character. In the Environment tab, there are caustic effects, an option for ground plane, a tone mapper, and a bloom filter. When we activate the ground plane, you can see our character will now be able to cast some shadows on the ground so it no longer appears like she's floating. This is an iRay virtual ground plane, which is there to show shadows and glossiness effects only. It can be composed into the 2D background image, which I'll show you in just a moment. In the Tone Mapper section, there is a library full of cool and unique tone templates that you can use to really emphasize the mood of your render. In the Render Settings tab, there are a number of different features that can be applied, such as maximum global illumination bounces and a denoise feature that is only available with NVIDIA GPUs. We'll talk more about this in a separate tutorial. You can also quickly save the image you're rendering in the preview window by going up and clicking on the save icon. Beside the save icon is one that allows us to copy the image to the clipboard for quick pasting into other programs. Very useful in a lot of teamwork scenarios. You want to pay attention to the iteration count of your render before you do this and make sure that you have a sufficient number of iterations completed before you save your render. You can see why iteration count is important here as we compare these two separate images, one with an iteration count of 100 and the other with 1000. Let's quickly save this image and name it female.png. Here's what it will look like after completing the 1000 iterations. We can also make the background transparent by using the icon at the top of the preview window. Let's do that and give another quick save this time calling it femaletransparent.png. On the toolbar at the bottom of the Render Settings tab, you can click on the Background Render, which will open up the Export Settings panel. Here you can set things like Format, Size, and Iteration Count. Let's increase the Iteration Count so we can get a better quality render. We can just set it to 3000 and wait momentarily for it to catch up in the Preview window. 
Once we click Render, the Batch Renderer will pop up to render the scene in the background. During this time we can still operate Character Creator like normal without interference. When the render is complete, it will then auto-open the folder that you saved the rendered file in, as you can see here. So that's about it for this quick whirlwind introduction to the iRay Render plugin for Character Creator 3. It's a super powerful tool that allows you to give your favorite characters the beautiful photorealistic enhancement that they deserve. Make sure to check out our other iRay Render tutorials for more details on the different features we ran through in this video, and as always, check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.